What's up guys? Today I'm here with Matt Geelan, YouTube strategist, and we're gonna be talking about three tips for content creators on how to get your videos found on YouTube right now. <laughs> What's up influencers here at VidCon with Video Influencers, helping you build your influence, income, and impact with online video. And guess what? I'm here with a speaker at VidCon, Matt Geelan. Thank you Thank so you, much, Matt. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Matt Geelan, YouTube strategist. And if you don't know what that means, that basically means you're a ninja, okay? You're doing things behind the scenes that really move the needle, make a difference. Uh, Matt and I have a lot of history. In fact, he was one of the first people that helped me and Judy help us with our channels, really like think of things behind the scenes uh, differently. So today, Matt is gonna share with us a few tips that beginners and more established creators can consider when it comes to their YouTube channel and developing content to build an audience. Yeah, well, thank you for having me, first of all. Yeah. Big fan um, uh, of you and Judy and also, uh, you know, the video influencers. The, the first tip I would give, and, and this applies across the board to more experienced YouTubers, to people just starting out, yeah. is find a niche that um, mm -hmm. you are passionate about and can make a tremendous amount of content around. Um, YouTube is very similar to Google uh, in terms of its algorithm and promotion in yeah. the sense that they really want uh, channels to become authorities on an individual topic. Mm -hmm. um, like and a so, focus topic. Exactly. Yep. So if you want to do a video game channel, say, uh, I would pick your favorite video game. Hopefully that video game has a large audience. Yep. Um, and only make content about that video game at the very least to start until yep. you grow an audience for your personality, right? Yep. Like, yep. Um, you know, these days, I'm sure many, many, many people watch uh, It's Judy Time yep. simply because they love Judy and they yep. love your family and they yep. love you guys. All right, but it started out as more uh, beauty tips yep. and makeup tips and exactly. hairstyles and that sort of thing. Yeah, and on the flip side of that, I totally agree with you because even established people might have to niche themselves down. Judy, yes. as an example, so she started doing beauty seven years ago. It's become very competitive. Now Judy focuses on her own niche, which is first impressions. So she takes products. So like, even if you're established and you're hitting a plateau, you can actually kind of reinvigorate your audience with a focused topic. And obviously like some people might not like it, some people, you know, like might l love it. But the point is focusing on something specific to help develop an audience around that. And actually, in, because you do that, you can actually grow your audience to be fairly big because of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, the, the next thing I would say to focus on is video duration. Okay. Um, video duration, has a uh, direct correlation to average view duration yeah. for the by, most part. By the way, duration is the length of your video, correct? Correct. Yep. Um, and so, in that regard, uh, someone can't stay with your video for 10 minutes if your video is not 10 minutes long, right? Yep. It's kind of a no-brainer. And there's so much weight in the algorithm given to videos that are long in duration that have the ability to keep people watching. <clears throat> excuse me for a longer time yep. that um, it, it doesn't make sense to be putting out um, short videos anymore um, ah. that are that are extremely short. Now yep. there are some exceptions yep. um, and there are ways to do it but it's a it's a bit of a handicap yep. right so if you can make a 5, 10, 15, 20 minute video yep. try to keep lengthening those videos while still keeping them engaging and entertaining. Yeah yeah because I mean at the end of the day what YouTube wants is for people to stay on YouTube for a very long time. Correct. I actually talk about this a lot. I would love to hear your thoughts on this comment that YouTube has gotten so good with their searchability that what happens is people can find their stuff and they leave, right? Mm -hmm. So they really want content that's gonna keep people engaged, kind of like what TV does, because you know TV is like mm -hmm. 20, uh, 30 minutes, 60 minute shows. Um, how important is that to like consider when you know creating these videos that are longer? Oh, I would say it's uh, it's paramount. Yep. Um, there, there's so much weight given to your ability to keep people on the platform for an extended period of time yep. um, that uh, it, it would be malpractice to not try to make longer videos. Um, I would also say another thing, which yep. is starting YouTube sessions, which okay. kind of speaks to frequency of upload. Oh, okay. Um, so when you think about watch time, you don't need, uh, or you should think about more than just how long someone watches an individual video. Okay. Um, it's a combination of a lot of factors. 
one of which is how often do you start YouTube sessions. Okay. And that doesn't necessarily mean sending people to YouTube. Okay. It also means clicking on your video first when yes. they get to YouTube. Yep. Um, and one of the biggest ways to um, rack up a lot of algorithm value in that sense is to frequently be uploading content. Daily vloggers, so powerful. Yep, absolutely. Um, I mean, look at the look at the gaming channels, right? Yep. There's there's no surprise that those blew up with the you know algorithm change of two and two and a half years ago because they're able to produce a lot of content yep. and it's content that has a long duration, which yep. you know is pretty engaging. So people are going to watch for that long duration. Yeah. So focus on a specific topic, right? Because yep. Google and YouTube really like that. Yep. Uh, think about lengthening your videos, right? Mm -hmm. Like because that's what YouTube more and more, and it's been like that for the last few years, but more so today than ever, uh, about lengthening your videos so that session time is long. And also uh, creating the view sessions for YouTube, right? right? And why I love that tip specifically is because they don't have to just watch your video, right? right. As long as you are the entry point for the YouTube right. viewer, and it, regardless of what they watch after your episode, the point is you're the one kind of getting them to turn the TV on, right? right. To do channel exactly. surf, uh, surf. And that's why I know from being a daily vlogger, people wonder like, how did we get big? And in fact, we might not have been able to answer that, but this might be a huge factor into why daily vlogs blew up and grew the way they were and had favorability on 100%. search. Lightning round. So what's the last thing you grabbed out of the fridge? Like a protein drink. Zombie apocalypse. What's the first thing you'll grab? My baby huh? That's important, right? Yes, very, very <laughs> important. Cat or dog? Both. I have two cats and a dog. I have a golden retriever puppy at seven months and uh, two older cats, Murray and Cohen. No one's ever said that. What's your favorite social media platform right now? YouTube. If you had to choose one to give up, would you choose giving up movies for the rest of your life or giving up social media for the rest of your life? If I absolutely had to, I would probably give up social media. Whoa, that's the first time anybody, but of course. I know course, it's not a popular Matt answer. Gielen is not a YouTuber. He's like behind the scenes, but man, like it'd be hard for me to give up movies too, Very so. Hard. Boom. Awesome, yeah. Matt, thank you so much. Um, if, if, thank you for having me. If you guys have any additional questions for Matt, follow him on Twitter, was it Matt Gielen? At Matt Gielen, yeah. At Matt Gielen. I've been getting advice from Matt for years, so make sure you hit up his Twitter and ask some questions, if you don't mind, right? Absolutely. And uh, if, if they have any other information, is there anything that, uh, if they want any more information about you, is there a, like a place they can go to to get more information? Or no? I know that you write blog posts as well. Mm -hmm. Um, definitely on Twitter. Um, you can email me directly at matthewgeelan at gmail.com. Yep. Um, I post everything to my LinkedIn as well. Um, and uh, yeah, reach out to me and I'll get back to you quickly. Sweet. Thank you so much. Talk to you guys later.